In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a test security certificate which can be used for encrypting and decrypting AS2 messages in a testing environment. The steps shown in this video must be done on the computer that will own the certificate, meaning it will do the decryption and signing of messages. So, if your computer workstation will decrypt and sign AS2 messages, then do the steps on your computer. If the decryption and signing process will happen on your server, then this step should be done on your server. We will be using the EDI Dev eSecurity console, which is included in the enterprise license of the framework EDI or Freddy. An evaluation copy of it can be downloaded at the EDI Dev website. The link of this page will be down in the description field below. Okay, so what I have here is the eSecurity console, which I have launched on my workstation. The first thing we have to do is to select a cryptographic service provider, or CSP. Now take note, since I'm running on a workstation, I'll select user key set. Had I been on a server, I would have to select machine key set. So here is a list of cryptographic service providers. What we have to do next is to select one that supports the encryption algorithm and hashing that you and your trading partners have agreed on. For example, if you've agreed to use the algorithm 3DES for encryption and SHA-1 for the signing hash, then selecting the Microsoft Strong Cryptographic Provider version 2.0 will work. But if SHA-256 is required, then this ESP will not work because it's not listed here, just SHA-1. You would have to select another CSP like the Microsoft Enhanced RSA and AES cryptographic provider which if we expand its algorithm it lists SHA-256 and 3DES. Okay, now that we've selected our CSP the next thing we do is to create a key container. Just think of the key container as where your private key will be stored. To create the key container, right click on the CSP, then select Add Key Container. Then enter a name for the key container. Normally, I would name it the same as the certificate with the word key as an extension so that it would be easier for me to associate them together. For example, I want to name my certificate EDI Dev Test, so I'll name this key container EDI Dev Test underscore key. Let me expand the key container node to see if it really did get created. And here it is. Next, we right click on it then select create test certificate so in the certificate file name field I'll enter EDI dev test this will be the name of my certificate now make sure to press on the location button so that you will be certain where the physical file of the certificate will get saved I'll save the certificate under the YouTube demo folder I'll put EDI Dev in the subject name and in the issuer name field as well. We don't have to change anything in these other fields. So I'll go ahead and click OK. At this point, we have created the private key in the key container and the public key in the physical certificate file. What we must do now is import the public key to a store location of our choosing and then associate the public key with the private key. So let's right click on the CSP again 
and select Certificate Operation. Since I'm on a workstation, I'll expand the current user node. Had I been on a server, I would have expanded the local machine node. Under the current user location is a list of stores. For our purpose, I'll import our certificate in the My Store. So let's right click on it, select Import Certificate, then find the certificate that we just created. Here it is. Then click OK. OK, the import was successful. If we expand the My Store, we should see the EDI Dev Test Certificate. And here it is. If we check the properties of this certificate, we see that there is not a private key associated to it. So let's pair it with one. There are two ways of pairing the public key to a private key. This method, associate to key container, allows us to manually choose the key container where this certificate's private key is located. From this drop-down field, we can select the key container EDI Dev Test Key from the list. The other option, Determine Associated Key Container, automatically chooses the key container for this certificate. I'll go ahead and select this one. I'll click yes to the confirmation prompt and it's done. The association was successful. I'm just going to collapse this node and expand it again just to refresh the information. And if we check the EDI Dev Test Certificate property, we now see it has a private key. And that's all the steps to creating a certificate.